This video covers Newton's second law. Newton's second law is simply a formula. That formula is net force equals mass times acceleration. When thinking of what unit net force is measured in, you think kilograms times meters over second squared. This is equal to one Newton. There are four steps to think about when solving a Newton's second law problem. First, draw a free body diagram. Next, find the net forces in the x and y directions. After that, set the net force equal to mass times acceleration for both x and y directions. Lastly, plug in known amounts to solve for those that are unknown. Let's try an example. A horizontal rope with a tension of 30 newtons pulls a 5 kilogram mass across a horizontal surface where the force of kinetic friction is 20 newtons. Find the acceleration of the mass and the numerical value of the normal force. First, draw your free body diagram. Next, write out your equations for net force in both the x and y directions. Then, set those equations equal to mass times acceleration. Finally, solve for acceleration and normal force. One more example. A 70 kilogram diver is being rescued by a helicopter. A cable is lowered from the helicopter and secured around the diver. The helicopter then accelerates upward at 1.6 meters per second squared. Find the tension in the cable after the diver has been lifted from the water. Begin by drawing the free body diagram. There is no force acting on the object in the x direction, so the net force equals zero. There are, however, forces acting on the object in the y direction. Set that equation equal to mass times acceleration and solve for the unknown. In this case, that would be tension.